Hi Capricorn. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. My name is Christine. Hello, Capricorn. And <laughs> the Hermit energy is already wanting to come out. Capricorn, and it wants to be your overall energy. That was fast, so I'm going to get moving here. I wanted to say, for those of you that celebrate, if you're here in real time, that is, because you could be here many months or years later for when I'm uploading, this is a timeless reading. But if you are here in real time, hello and happy holidays. If you celebrate wherever you are in the world and however you celebrate. I just wanted to send that through. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Capricorn tarot reading. Capricorn, love tarot reading. Capricorn, love reading. And as is almost always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Capricorn, love messages reading. Channeled messages from your person messages from their higher self again you could be here in real time i'm channeling for you in november still 2023 but we're right on the brink like one day probably some of you will watch this depending on where you are december so we're really right here in december 2023 as well so you could be here in real time but you could also be here many months even years later and that's because this is a timeless reading this is a faded connection, Capricorn. You're here when you're meant to be here. It means there is a message for you. Speaking of messages, the Six of Wands revealing Jupiter and Leo energy. Somebody might be trying to reach out. Either way, there's something that they've overcome here. Some obstacles and challenges around themselves. Coming in here with this King of Wands in front of this very passionate rose which of course is around this connection and love there is an urgent energy this is the wand energy it's fast it's around matters of the heart and this king of wands is full of all kinds of courage so i think they might be wanting to reach out let's see because i can also see well it's a validation of no contact no communication and or in separation this can be someone you've come here for today, but it can't even be someone that's coming into your mind. Whatever the case is, look, you might even be on opposite ends of the world, <laughs> I want to say. So long distance energy does come through, but it's also an emotional long distance energy. You know, it's sort of like ships in the night. Here's the lighthouse, which is guiding you in. And there it is. That's the star energy, of course, here in the Hermit. This is Virgo and Mercury energy. And of course, it's it's where we go for clarity and, and personal truth, spiritual illumination. Just both of you here thinking about each other, trying to figure out a little bit lost, connected here with the divine on this emotional energy. So still very much emotionally connected, but both trying to figure it out. Look at that messages from spirit, but also timing, divine, divine timing. Here with that star energy, the renewal, the hope for clarity, which is why everybody is here connecting to the lighthouse, which wants to guide you back together. So is this to communicate? Is it bringing you back together to, to discuss? I, let's see. But it's really clear that you were, I just feel like this is, you're meant to get here <laughs> to this lighthouse and, and get into the star energy for clarity, hope and renewal whatever that's going to mean. There is a mermaid here, you know, in folklore, the mermaid is saving drowning sailors. So now the mermaid is here up on the lighthouse, which is a pretty safe place. That's what it is. It's guiding all the ships back in. You know, that, that it's too dark, they can't see. They're a little bit lost perhaps, and they need the lighthouse. That's why that we have them. So this mermaid is coming up here and holding up that star energy and trying to bring you together. And work out what? Well, here's some truth. Justice coming in. So this is an 11. That's new beginnings. You know, and that's also bringing us into a two. Of course, the partnership. And, well, balancing of the divine feminine, divine masculine energies to come from a place of truth of, and clarity within ourselves, but also to bring it to another. Because this is the truth coming and it's a solution around that, whatever that's going to mean. And it's a renewal here. And it's around this transactional energy, which is clarity. 
clarity, truth, communication, information. Of course, Libra energy, Venus, the planet of, of love. Capricorn, it's a general reading, so always remember to take what resonates for you and let the rest go. And if you feel you're resonating with something that I feel is coming from your person's energy and it's yours, then it's your energy. You know, it's really about what's resonating for you. All the decks that are coming in today, you can find the links below and you'll also find all the playlists there. So all zodiac signs, all signs tarot readings, those are love tarot readings for the collective, love readings for all zodiac signs. I think I'm calling that messages from your person love tarot reading. Anyway, they're below. If you're on a twin flame journey, there are very long in-depth twin flame readings and more. So feel free to check anything out you're inspired to check out. I would appreciate it so much if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you haven't. And it goes without saying thank you for being here today. Let's keep moving. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Capricorn. Aho. There's the Six of Wands back, but now it's in reverse. So they're having a hard time figuring out what to say. Whether this is in a message or this is in person. And they're also, there's still some, some I want to say some challenges, some obstacles here. Getting them to this lighthouse. What are those challenges and what are those obstacles? Because of course that connects us with the Five of Wands, you know. The Empress, the Knight of Cups, here with the Hermit energy. Some broken promises. A little bit of wishy-washy energy, a lack of healing around that. Scorpio energy, Pluto energy coming in reverse here. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's, it's like broken promise energy here. It's really time for some communication. The Empress is here in your partnership placement. Divine feminine energy, Taurus energy. The divine communication growth, of course, the empress can create and grow anything. She's, she's the leader of all the 12 signs, has access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Of course, connecting to all the zodiac signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, and everything around that, the emotional energy, the love, the clarity, the transactional energy, getting it, finding it. The earth energy, the commitment, the relationship, the connection, and all the practicalities around that, including, I don't know, I want to say a se secure feeling. There's a little bit of a little bit of lost energy. Why? And of course, the fire, fire energy, and that's the speed at which action is taken. It's around the energy of love. Coming in here in an emotionally available way, wanting to just come back together somehow here, having a little trouble getting to this lighthouse, but wanting to come with the truth, connecting to the fifth chakra partnership placement. And we also saw that with justice, didn't we? The emperor is in reverse here. Aries, Mars energy. Okay, so there is some, some shadow, I want to say, ego self coming through. Some you know, is it kind of like, too, I'm wondering if it's sort of some energy of who's kind of going to connect with who first, because that does come through in this energy for me today. It's a little bit of immature energy. It's connecting to coming from ego. In this deck, there are a lot of cards this way, but just in, for example, here in the Emperor energy, Divine Masculine energy is... Um, a divine feminine and a divine masculine energy of the cards. For example, there's two emperor cards. And this is the divine feminine. So it's the divine masculine too. And it's coming in reverse. So they are working on that justice energy we saw at some type of new beginning of coming together, of balancing for the renewal. I does this to have a conversation or send a message here because they're I feel like they're also recognizing that some broken promises here, some wishy-washy energy. You know, and that's the balancing of the divine feminine and the divine masculine energies. And it's probably never more clear for me than <laughs> this moment now today in your reading where their energy is the strongest, Capricorn, in this emperor in reverse again, because there are two here and this is the divine feminine in reverse, the divine masculine. So it's like really still working on the balancing energy. Page of Cups, definitely. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups. Wow. 
Look at this wish fulfillment energy coming here with the Empress. So you really, I feel, really want to hear from your person. And here, you're hoping that they find their way to this lighthouse too. You know, because that's the thing also. How long has this separation been going on? No contact, no communication, and or physical separation. It's going to be different for everyone. Because it could also be sometimes that you're both going zoop, and around and around. Another trip around, let's say, the sun and this is the earth. You know, another year, another month, whatever it is. You know, passing in the night, ships passing in the night, like the timing, you know, or somebody not being ready. This is the timing. This is the divine. This is divine timing. This is communication. So I feel that you're both going to find your way to this lighthouse. And now we're seeing the Nine of Cups as a validation for that. Jupiter and Pisces energy. Jupiter, of course, connecting to Pisces, the ruling planet. Also Sagittarius, not a Sagittarius card, but the energies here. That's the planet of prosperity and expansion growth, optimism, hope, and also connecting us with luck, that Jupiter energy, which connects us directly to the Wheel of Fortune and a turning point. This Page of Cups here is looking longingly at you. So you have a really strong friendship as well, or just a respect, a connection that it just goes beyond even love. There's just some, there's the my person feel going on here. This Page of Cups, you know, a page energy of, of possibly for some of you, someone younger chronologically, but it doesn't mean that because we also see the emperor and it can be an older man. There's no gender here, but that energy can come through. But it's just like a student energy in many ways, you know, trying to figure it out, a new beginning energy. Here, like really counting on this empress energy to come in here, this new beginning here, but coming in in an emotional way. There's a lot of love between you. It sounds weird, but I can even see it here in this. I'm feeling it in this page of cups. The way that the fish and the, the person here, <laughs> the way they're looking at each other, there's a longing. There's just a knowing energy here. It's very, I don't know, it's taking me into some weird emotional world right now. And connecting here. And I say weird because I'm talking about a fish, <laughs> you know? But there's just a connection here between you. And the Nine of Cups coming in here with the Page of Cups putting us in the Ten of Cups. So were you building a life together, a family? Were you on your way or was it just on the table as the future possibility? Because it's, it's coming in. But it can also just be putting it back on the table. And a new beginning here just to even talk again. What is that for you? Because there's some broken promise energy here. Lack of healing energy here, too, and maybe even playing with, with, with some emotions and heart. I mean, look at this actual energy. The heart is, a, is an instrument. And by the way, I do feel that there's a strong musical connection here. You might be hearing particular songs or they're sending them to you and you're just he hearing a lot of it. Anyway, thing that's interesting about the heart is, you know, it's and I have been talking about it this week as I work with this deck. It came through and then I, a card came through that validated it. If you, it's like a walnut looks like a brain and we eat them and they're really good for our brain, you know. The heart, when you unravel it, looks like a rose, you know. It's sort of like, look, it's all connecting here with this cloak. I'm not sure. Is that a sorry? I don't, I'm, forgive my ignorance. I'm not sure what that's called. But in any case here, it's, it's that energy, of course. And it's here in the lotus flower. It's healing energy. It's in reverse. They're playing with the heart quite literally here. You know, so it could be that there's some games, but also just the hurt energy here of broken promises. You know, just not being able to keep what they said, whatever. It's emotional here. Wish fulfillment, I feel, is, is just meeting at this lighthouse and, and reconnecting, whether that's a communication, a message, whatever. You know, maybe for some of you seeing each other, it hasn't really come through. Let's see, I'm not really feeling that so much as I'm just feeling that you're really in each other's energy and that for some of you, this has been going on for a while and you're just really wanting to meet here in this energy. Because, you know, as I talked about the Jupiter energy, that is the energy that comes after the Hermit. That is the Wheel of Fortune and that's the turning point. Yeah, you were meant to meet. You know, fate and destiny, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. There is a reason for this. It, there is a deep connection here for me. I feel like you may have known each other your whole life or it just feels that way. And there's a lot of timing issues I feel around here, whether it's somebody not being ready and somebody else is and it's like like this or if there's other involvement. 
perhaps other third parties, whether it's romantic, interference, cultural, religious differences, for some of you, distance. Five of Pentacles, so they're really missing you. This is a strong loss energy. This is the separation. Here is the rose, too. Look, it's in, it's here. Still looking quite beautiful, but not happy. It's out in the snow, you know? And this is that energy of loss. This is Mercury and Taurus energy. And also around that Mercury energy of not communicating and the separation in that and the non-communication. So that wanted to reveal, but we're going to move it back in because I want to... But yeah, I just want to move the energy. Well, the magician's showing itself as I did that. Very interesting. Gemini, Virgo energy. Mercury energy as well as above, so below. Getting focused here and turning visions into reality, taking inspired action. Look at that soulmate energy. This isn't manifesting soulmate energy here. The potential that's here is still really big. It's a matter of opportunity. For me, for me this is just around timing. I don't know if it's somebody's just not ready and then it's back and forth or there's other reasons behind it but it, there is still a strong very strong connection here you know turning visions into reality taking some inspired action which is getting you both here to the lighthouse at the very least and just reconnecting in some way i just feel like you're both kind of waiting for that and what is going on yeah that new beginning here and all the potential but it's around that opportunity so I have to move it again. I know. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What else do our beautiful Capricorns need to see today? Aho. Wow, there's the Wheel of Fortune. And the World card in the upright. Okay. <laughs> My guide, sometimes I tell you, this the Wheel of Fortune did come back, but it's in reverse. So that is the, net, the energy of it's just, it's... Here's the thing. It's exactly, actually, it's, it's exactly the energy of what we've been talking about. So it's stuck. Look, look at here on this Wheel of Fortune. Look what's up there. It's the heart. But this is what I want to tell you. It's an out-of-control feeling. It's timing. There's just timing issues here. It's just unbelievable, and I feel really overwhelmed as I talk about it because this has just been such a strong energy. And it's coming here with the world card, which is an energy of completion. Can be actual physical travel, but it's the it's just, you know, also the coming together in general. Very deep soulmate energy here. Saturn energy, it's in the upper right. Saturn is the planet of well, restriction, it can slow some things down. That's your ruling planet, Capricorn, also Aquarius. An interesting Leo, Scorpio, Quar Aquarius, excuse me, and Taurus energy is here, fixed signs. You know, it's around some obstacles. So this is the completion energy of coming together. It's this resolution energy that I feel of just even discussing things or just coming together, maybe even touching bases, but it's around timing. I want to say in the hands of the divine, divine timing, but of course, everybody also has free will, you know, and life permitting what decisions can and can't somebody make, you know, controlling what you can, letting go of what you can't. So it's both making decisions, it's fate and destiny and, and going with how things have happened and what you can do, what you're ready for. We can't control another person's free will. This is just really clear that there's still a lot of connection here. It's not just about even the shadow that's going on that we see, some of the ego and whatnot, but this Page of Cups coming in here with the Nine of Cups, with the Empress, and emotionally opening up and meeting together, I feel, here at this lighthouse. Connecting. But it's around the timing here. There's a soul connection here. It's very strong, and you were definitely meant to meet. What does that mean, you know? Well, we have lots of soulmates in the world, romantic and otherwise. Sometimes they're coming in to get us to particular goals or to teach us particular lessons, you know? Romantic, again, or otherwise, but this is obviously romantic. And they're coming in here with some wanting to get closer to you. It's just a matter of timing. This can be bringing in life-changing decisions. Sometimes this can bring in marriage. Do I feel like that that's happening here right now? It's not. I don't feel like it is. This is too many, but this is yours. This is just not surprising at all, the Six of Cups. 
It's a matter of when. Look how nostalgic they are. Really, very much you both are. You're both here in this energy, and here's that energy that we talked about. So you've either known your person for a long time, or it's just that feeling that you've known them. Soulmate energy is off the charts here, I feel. For some of you, this might be around your twin flame. That's not for everybody, and your twin flame can also be a soulmate. I know not everybody follows the twin flame journey, and these zodiac readings are not twin flame specific readings. But if you're on a twin flame journey, that energy is here. I just want to bring that forward. They're very nostalgic. They're thinking a lot about you. You're thinking about each other here. Look, wanting to get to this lighthouse, it could even be an actual physical meeting that you're both wanting to have here. But there is this not letting each other go energy. It's so strong. My gosh, a lot of reunion energy here, also here in this world card. So do I think you're going to be meeting <laughs> here at the lighthouse? There is a strong energy here of coming together for a new cycle of at least communicating. So yeah, but it's around the timing issues. It's both the energy here with this emperor energy. Again, it's the divine masculine energy, but it's the other emperor that we talked about, the divine feminine. So it's a balancing things out also and the truth that they might be not ready to accept or just coming to all these feelings that they have. We saw that injustice and balancing those energies out in order to be honest with themselves and be able to bring the truth, which is obviously, I feel like I'm hearing you are my person. You're both saying that here. It's a really strong energy. Page of Wands in reverse, Ace of Cups in the upright. The star in reverse. Okay, so here's the thing. It's a lot, it's really validation of what's going on here. It's Aquarius energy, it's Uranus energy, and this is not communicating energy. And there's a sadness around this, and there is some of that emperor in reverse energy. So there is some there is some shadow ego side that's coming through, and I and I'm not sure why, maybe you know why they're not. Is there kind of a power struggle perhaps going on here of who's coming with who or something triggered them, whatever. But this is an energy for me today of, well, it, you know, the clarity that's not there. So that's going on. A little bit of maybe losing hope energy of just, you know, what, where is this going? I want to say for everybody. But the clarity that's being sought here in the Hermit energy we can see in the star card is just not happening yet. And we talked about the star energy coming in. Holding this up for clarity, hope for renewal. Come on, get over here. Let's meet at the lighthouse. And this is also, I feel like they're not responding for some of you or you've just been waiting to connect, not responding to each other. Some, some shadow ego here for sure. It's because it's kind of like being ignored energy. So for some of you, yeah, the ships just keep going around, you know, and it really is a matter of timing for this completion. It's the divine, divine timing here. So this will eventually, this resolution reconciliation, closure. I don't think this closure so much is just a matter of when you're talking and perhaps for some of you seeing each other. How many times are you going to go around this? This needs to go here. Interesting connecting here with the Empress energy. You know, so the emotional, the, the, the feelings are obviously very much here and they're wanting to be honest. And I think you want to be honest with each other. There's some holding back energy. There's some lack of timing energy. So these are all three that just slid right out. This is, <laughs> so look, now justice is coming back here with the full in reverse. And there's the hangman. I'm so not surprised by this. Indecisive energy, not really acting on it energy, and only time will tell energy. And there's some more of the power struggle stuff that's going on. So the, the justice came back, <laughs> you know, and that's because the, just nobody, you might still be going around there. This is still some struggling energy. Look, and it's coming here with the full card. So there's the separation. There's also kind of a careless energy, I want to say. Um, some fear around the truth. And I feel like a lot of that is how they feel because this just feels like my person energy. You know, you see the Ace of Cups coming here with the Empress. And I do feel that they're, the feelings and the truth 
are there for both of you. It's a matter of timing of coming together here. It really is in the hands of the divine because it is stuck energy. We saw that coming in, but it's coming in reverse. And that's a, an energy of controlling what you can and letting go of what you can't. And that's around timing. So whether, again, it's somebody who, who just can't go there right now, one or the other, or you're, somebody can, somebody can't, you know? Or it's just not time now, but the connection you have is just literally undeniable here. This justice energy is going to have to go here. There def there's definitely an energy, too, in that emperor with the justice in reverse now having come back. Of It is not fair, you know, because I, I feel this connection between you. I do feel the love here. And of just maybe even overworking to try to overcome and compensate for not being able to move forward, move here in the way that they want, or maybe even for both of you that message is coming through. And that full energy with that with that zero, of course, is like a cycle energy here too, you know? Like again, I mean, it's like shaped like the earth, or I guess some of you will say it's, it's not a circle. <laughs> or let's not go there, okay? But let's see here <laughs> the earth and that cycle here and the fool card, you know, it's just a careless energy. Yeah, connected with that dishonesty. So the last three coming in, and then I'm going to bring in some oracle for you, is the sun, and I love this because this is that outcome. This is Leo energy. It's the source. It's the sun coming up. It's a new day, and it's a new chance with every day. It's probably one of, I would say, one of the, the happiest cards. It's a beautiful energy to come in, but, you know, for me, everything, there's a message here everywhere. But this is the renewal. This is the new cycle. This is the sun coming up. It's connecting with the crown chakra. Of course, higher power, source, divine messages. And that's working things out. Um, I want to say a happy outcome for everybody. Timing-wise, it's here, so I really like that. But for me, it really is around timing. Again, there's a lot of love here, I feel. Lots of potential. There's lots still connecting you. The dishonesty is strong. So justice, and that's around feelings. Justice, and it could be also something that was said, and it can't even be for some of you, that this emperor here is in some kind of legal kind of connection thing that's going on, you know, some, some issues, some legal issues that can't even be you. In any case, that won't be for everyone, but it is here, and it might be playing a part in this timing that's going on. But not only did justice come back in reverse and then brought what I kind of think of as the protege, <laughs> you know, to justice, um, the apprentice, whatever, the queen of swords still coming back in here as well. You know, Libra ruled by Venus. So the cycle not worked out in order for it, but eventually it will. The sun energy, the world card. The Ace of Cups here. Timing, though, it's just so huge. The Empress. Connecting right here with that Six of Cups energy. Five of Cups in reverse. This is Mars and Scorpio energy. So they are sending here. They're asking for forgiveness. This is a healing energy. For some of you, there may have been some arguing. It won't be for everyone. But I tell you, why are they asking for forgiveness? Because the Five of Cups energy... It's an energy of loss, and we saw that in the Five of Pentacles, and regret for having maybe how they left things, for what was said, maybe what was not said, but leaving you feeling like that they didn't love you, because I don't think that's the case. I feel like there's just a lot of love here between you. There's, there's just everyone's needing to work something out. It's timing here to getting to this lighthouse, and then even then figuring it out. The completion here is, it's here. We see this outcome. I want to say for everybody's highest good, but it's around timing. But this reversal puts the Three of Cups in reverse, Mercury and Cancer energy, you know? Timing issues. Again, possibly some communication issues here, uh, like stuff that was said is what I want to say. And the Two of Cups here coming, this represented in these flowers, which is the separation we know. So they're regretting how things were left, and they are sending that apology through. I like that. And it can be that, that you're going to hear that in an actual message here. This Nine of Cups, Eighth Page of Cups, Nine of Cups, put it, putting us in that Ten of Cups again, or at least putting it on the table. Ace of Cups coming in here with that. So that's 
that six of wands we saw overcoming some of the ego, but also whatever's going on here, you know, in any chip. Maybe a message again. We saw it in the upright. It came back in reverse. We saw justice in the upright. It came back in reverse. So it could be that at some point we saw that king of wands, that a message or communication just pops out of nowhere. And I kind of think that's how it's going to be. Maybe even on both sides, you know, maybe you get that wild hair, but that's like everybody coming together at that lighthouse and timing with the world card and life changing. I feel like it's going to change everybody's life, but they are sending this through. So this Ace of Cups, this is most definitely an apology coming through here now. Again, it might be coming in, They're jumping out of that hangman energy and a phone call and a message. Page of Wands is in reverse too, and I just wanted to say that some more energy of kind of immature energy, and it is connecting to the past energy of maybe what went on here with the Knight of Cups too. Whether they weren't ready or breaking some promises, why? There's a lot of truth around that. Some of that they're not facing, and it could be because of the situation that you're in or that you're both in. I'm hearing that I need to look here. Okay. So brought in the high priestess energy, that is cancer and energy, it brought in the devil energy. Okay, yeah. So this is connecting here with the five of cups energy for me and the high priestess. And that's kind of like a reveal. Divine feminine, cancer and energy, a decision. This is, I do feel communication at some point. I know, but timing here is just really, it's just Capricorn, it's, playing a really very big part here. I'm putting this here so you can still see it. Yeah, the devil energy, what I wanted to say in reverse, Capricorn, that's your energy, comes in almost every one of your readings. It's Saturn energy too, and that's that Saturn energy of slowing things down, connecting us to some karma, working out some karmic lessons perhaps even for some of you in a karmic situation your person or even you justice and the devil in reverse okay it's not going to be for everyone but it is here because that does connect us to that and obstacles so that can be around a situation that everybody's in again it's all around timing who can come and when e -e, back and forth when you're able to meet here life-changing it's just incredibly clear. In the meantime, this is an apology coming in right now, and I hope it comes for you. I hope this message or phone call or whatever it is comes in as well, because that's the devil in reverse energy. So that's being able to apologize here around this. You know, there's an attachment here. Um, and, well, I feel like, again, it's around this Five of Cups energy of what they're apologizing for, that they're working out, whatever that is. I'm going to bring in some Oracle. We're shuffled. We're ready to go. I'm not reading them in reverse. I want to show you what's at the bottom of the deck right now. Oh, wow. I don't even know if I've ever seen this card. So, Night Ride, Nocturnal Energy. Elephants are really strongly connected to family, by the way. Interesting here. So whether you were building a family or a life and that Ten of Cups that's coming in, this new beginning that I feel for you, when I just really time timing lining up for you both in divine time, but it can also be around other connections. But what I love here is it's this this elephant can push through all these obstacles and challenges here, really strong, but a gentle giant, an upturned trunk, good luck, new beginnings. Look at all the star energy here, two owls. By the way, that Scorpio energy, just a <laughs> just a little random piece of information for you. Of course, here to help this elephant who, well, it doesn't look like they're stuck, actually. It's just here in the night to see, you know, the guardian of the night. I like that. And the connection between you. Connected to the divine, of course. They're all about inner transformations. I kind of feel like that's both of you here. Working on whatever you need to work on here, whether you're going to take another trip around. I kind of feel like it's more about around the sun, but of course, you're sitting here <laughs> on the earth as you both work things out, inner transformation, self-actualization, there is a loyalty. Owls kind of are loyal to their person, to food, and to keeping predators away. 
They also are quite independent. They do a lot of work behind the scenes. And of course, that's the divine energy and the wisdom and the growth here with the elephant as you both do what you need to do. Okay. So this is like the lover's card on another level. <laughs> Let's just say there's a high chemistry between you, but we also see the love here and the connection. Holding on to a rose, the top hat, connecting us to some magician energy here. That five of change. Very, um, I just want to say, yeah, they're doing a lot more than, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of, there's a, a strong connection between you. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? You have, the, and look at, <laughs> connected right with the six of cups. A lot of what's on their mind here. It's just everything. There's a lot of love here. There's a strong connection here. Rose Garden, all is connected. Stranded. Oh, yeah. Gosh, look at this. Wow, that is really goosebumpy in transformation. This is really what's going on here. Look at this. The nocturnal energy connecting us to the divine and also perhaps when maybe some kind of message just pops in. The transformational energy. This is really goosebumpy here, you guys. On this 26, of course, that's an eight. That's an action number. It's accomplishing. And it's connected to karma. It's pushing through some karmic lessons, paying off some debts. Connecting to infinity. Balancing of the divine feminine. Divine masculine energies. Also, of course, working through all of that for the renewal. This is clear. It is a matter of timing here. My gosh, Rose Garden. So there's that rose. We saw that also in the Five of Pentacles. And here it is now kind of becoming, this is a new beginning energy. And it's also more look of the transformational energy. There's a caterpillar here. There's kind of in the dark energy. Night Ride, the Hermit. It's like this, yeah, working stuff out really missing each other, but there's a lot that needs to get worked out, I feel like, from one or both ends. This is coming out of that butterfly, who, of course, has come out of the cats before the caterpillar here is going to go in and do all that work and coming out here with the rose, growth, love, kind of an urgent energy. All is connected. Look, 12, divine, divine timing change here big time look she's I, is she sitting on a tree stump with with all the roots here or is she at one with the tree kind of looks like she's both the leaves are coming off of her hair very spiritual here this is change and you know this these are maple leaves they're around love and hello if you're in canada too your connection is incredibly strong in your reading as well and look at that so this is the last oracle coming through and i'm going to bring in some channeled Love messages, messages from your person, from their higher self. Stranded, that's a 44. So here's what I really like about this. This is an energy of angels with you. You know, and a time for you to trust yourself at what you need to do. Whether you need to keep going around or whether you're heading for the lighthouse, it really is for both of you and you see that here and it's the decision around that. And look, there is the anchor here. This is literally, so it's, it's timing again. It's almost like somebody went off and then got somebody else was waiting and couldn't meet and something happened. And I don't just mean in real time, but I just mean like timing. It's like ships in the night somehow. Very clear, but here's the anchor. Once that goes down, that goes to the bottom of the ocean. That's the deepest emotions. And that's stopping that ship and that's being able to yeah, look at where things are going and where they need to go and what does everybody want? Who is where? It's stranded. It's stuck right now. It's here. But the connection you have is palpable for me today. Capricorn, what a beautiful reading. Really just very goosebumpy. I want to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. I want to tell you too here the connection, the emotional connection, regardless of what has been going on, is here. And you know, telepathy is muscle. We all have that energy. We all have the that's yours. We all <laughs> let's see what it is too. We all have the capabilities, you know. So we might be seeing that coming through here for the both of you. So sometimes there are conversations that go on. <laughs> And if you feel you're sending a message, then you're sending the message. 
I'm going to close my eyes now. So what is falling out is yours and what I'm bringing out is yours. That's a lot of love messages. This one needs to come first. I spy on you. <laughs> That's Page of Swords energy, kind of watching. These are these were coming together. We have a deep soul connection. Please forgive me. Six of Cups. Five of Cups in reverse energy here. So that apology is uh, strong. Coming through here right now, we are soulmates. Six of Cups energy, the world card energy. All is connected. These are connected. <laughs> they say that, look. I was stupid. It's also in that star in reverse. I don't want to lose you forever. It's the Four of Pentacles in reverse energy for me, the Sun in Capricorn, kind of that temporary energy of the Sun being in reverse. Despite seeing it here, it really is around the timing. The outcome, I like this, but it's around timing. It's just so strong. The Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. It's going in the hangman. I've never felt like this. You mean a lot to me. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. That's the star in reverse. So it's if you are waiting to hear or if you, there was something going on and they just didn't reach out. I'm trying to send you a message. That's the six of wands. It came in and then it went, came back in reverse. Yeah. Coming through here, the message, and I hope for you. I took you for granted. It's a lot of that piling up over there. I made so many mistakes. I'm putting that here. With justice now in reverse. Do you miss me too? So somebody's sending down and I miss you. Everything reminds me of you. It's more of the Six of Cups energy for me. We were meant to meet. It's the Wheel of Fortune. Fate and destiny. Destiny's intertwined. Met, you met for a reason. I love you. It's going with the Five of Cups in reverse because that's how they left you feeling like they didn't, and they do. So there you go. I think of you all the time in your last <laughs> channeled love message Look as they're stranded here. So this might be you here. It might be your person now in this energy now as we talk about who is where in these ships. Somebody's stranded. I was stupid. I made so many mistakes. I was stupid. Capricorn, your reading was really beautiful, very, I felt it here, it's palpable, otherworldly. It's my honor to channel for you. Thank you for being here today. I really loved your reading. I appreciate that you're here, and I hope you liked it too. And if you did, I would really appreciate it if you liked today's video. And subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. Of course, having your notifications on also really helps to... Well, it gives you real-time notifications so you know when I'm uploading, whether it's your Zodiac or if you're on a Twin Flame journey. I do upload here for now in this channel, Twin Flame, a Twin Flame reading around once a week. And of course, there are the general love tarot readings for the collective, the All Signs Tarot. Anyway, thank you again. I'm sending you so much love and so much light, hoping for the best outcome for you. And I'm looking forward to... Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading.